Hey guys, it's Brido here, bringing you episode 58 of our Liverpool Career Mode series. In today's episode, we have three games for you. Starting off with our game here against Newcastle, the replay there for the FA Cup quarterfinal tie that we had against them. Then we'll be moving on to a Premier League game against Chelsea and one more after that too. Unfortunately, we won't be getting to the Brush of Dortmund second leg because of the fact that I misread the schedule in some way, shape, or form, but that'll be in the next episode for sure, so kind of amping up the intensity towards getting to that game there, but this one's still a pretty important game because I I weigh the FA Cup at a pretty high level. I really do enjoy the FA Cup. I think it's a fun tournament to be involved in, and especially for us because, you know, we're not having that great of a season in league. We need to do well in the FA Cup because that's kind of one of the opportunities that we can succeed and hopefully do well and uh, keep our job because that's the, that's the goal here, right? We want to keep uh, playing on with our Liverpool career right now rather than having to give it up this late in the game so far. But yeah, in this game, we started a pretty strong lineup. I left a couple players out just to make sure that we had a strong lineup going into the Chelsea game as well, because that was, in a lot of ways, a really important game too. We're chasing them, want to be close in the race coming down to the final 10 games of the season. And uh, with that said, we brought Julian Germany in for, I believe, his first actual start as a Liverpool player. The player that we signed through free agency. His last name is Germany, but he's from France, and uh, he actually has a pretty good start in this one. We also gave Lucas Leiva the start, too, so a couple players there that haven't had a chance in a while, and uh, giving them the opportunity. You're going to see in the 22nd minute here, Lewis Holpe doing his uh, perfect Alexander Merkel as he kind of drives to the net there, gets the opportunity, and scores the goal. And uh, he's been playing pretty good this season, which is nice to see as well. We've had great uh, opportunities from both him and Merkel. They really kind of shone, or shone as the stars in our midfield. And he gets another opportunity here. The ball is dropped from Cool. Cavani of the chance doesn't put it away, but Raheem Sterling, the second rebound, puts that away. And uh, rarely will you get an opportunity like that where you get three shots on net and you're actually able to score. And uh, we're able to capitalize there, putting us up 2 0 in this one early on. A good start, very similar to our earlier game against Newcastle. And uh, I think we would have won the first leg of this, or if you want to, well, the first tie of this because we had to do a replay now. Um, I think we would have won it if not for that just one bad play that I made a mistake on where, unfortunately, I, I gave the ball away. That led to the goal that kind of let them back into the game there. I felt like we owned that game, and in this one too, I think we did a really good job as well. We were controlling most of the play. Here's a chance for Raheem Sterling. Just narrowly uh, misses the great opportunity to go up 3-0 here. It's still a really good chance by him, though. And we keep the pressure going, which was nice because... It kind of died off in the first game there. Here's another opportunity that the ball is straight up given to Bender there. He isn't able to put that one away though. And Cavani almost of a great overhead kick. That would have been beautiful to see if he could get that one in. Haven't scored one of those in uh, our Liverpool career. So that would have been nice to see that go. But uh, yeah, like I said, keeping the pressure going. Getting some chances. And here is the, the clincher goal if you want to call it that. Is Cavani gets a real lucky one there. It bounces off him. He's just onside. And... Uh, They'll give us a 3-0 lead. Definitely enough for us to get by uh, Newcastle in this game. And uh, that will secure us an opportunity to play in the uh, semifinal of the FA Cup. Which is, like I said, where we want to be. We want to keep pushing, keep getting towards that. We have one little scare here at the end of the game though. As the ball's given up, they're putting the pressure on late on in this game. And they get a chance right here, but we're able to clear it out. Bernalino almost uh, coughing up the goal there, coughing up his clean sheet. But that is not going to happen. As I said, 3-0 win. Happy to see that from the boys, and we're going to move on to uh, the Chelsea game here. And as we're starting up the Chelsea game as well, I want to talk a little bit about kind of what uh, the team's going to be like going ahead here. Because you know what's really funny, and I haven't shared this yet, because I've played a lot of these games back to back. And the reason why I did this is I got on a roll, or I felt like I was getting this kind of chemistry with the team that I haven't had in a while. And I'm really, really, really happy with the transactions we made at the deadline. And the reason for that is that it feels like this team is a lot more complete than it was before. I felt like there were holes in the team that I would start a lineup. And even if we're starting our best starting 11, there's a couple players in the squad that I would feel a little bit shaky about. And um, it's been sad seeing players like Steven Gerrard kind of come out of that place where I felt so confident with them at the beginning of this career to now being a player that I'm scared to have on the field at some points. And... I mean, that's what happens to players over time, right? But I'm really happy with the squad now. I'm really happy with kind of the uh, tone that they're playing with. And even the really cool part for me that has kind of signified how much of a, a change the team's gone through. And that just single transfer deadline where I really feel like we hit it off. Minus the Carrillo being 
something that I'm warming up, warming up to now a little bit more, but at the time I was kind of wary of that transaction. I'm, I'm feeling like the team is now at the point where I'm very comfortable with them overall. And uh, with that said too, the really cool part for me is that I even took a break and I played a couple more games after uh, this long stretch that I played here. And uh, I hadn't played in like a week, and usually that is a terrible, terrible, terrible omen for the team going ahead. But even if we had like the, the rough 20 minutes or 30 minutes to start the game, we still controlled the play, played really well, and I was really happy with how uh, the team played overall. So I have to say that is definitely good signs going ahead into next season because that means the uh, team is really clicking now, and I feel like the, the side could do a lot more damage. And I feel like I was saying that a bit, but I didn't know what I was talking about uh, going into the season because I hadn't played with the players. I thought, okay, we're bringing these guys. It's going to be a lot more of uh, a really cohesive squad. In the end, I don't really think it worked out the way I wanted it to, but we're still where we are now, which makes me a lot happier going into next season where we kind of have that clean slate once again. Here's Suarez, though, 26 minute, puts it away, gets us the 1-0 lead against Chelsea, and uh, Chelsea is the team that I struggle against massively every time I play them. Even Manchester City is a side that I can do better against. Chelsea is that one side that I always really struggle to score goals and uh, struggle to not be blown out by, as you could see earlier this season. We lost 4-0 to them, which was not something that I wanted to happen whatsoever. But this game, we're up 1-0. Things are feeling really good here. And unfortunately, this is uh, where it breaks down a little bit. As Leva's on Gomez, he is not able to power his way uh, and get the ball back. Gomez just slides that one into the side post. Really a nice goal there. But it was unfortunate that it was Leva on the ball because I feel like we would have had one of our center backs there. It would have been a different story. But nonetheless, still 1-1 at this point. And uh, going into the second half... My change was taking Leva off because he actually started two games in a row, which is something I rarely do, but he had a great game against Newcastle. I felt really confident with him in that game. So what we, do for, what we did for this one is we let him have the start. I changed that up before this game, though, or uh, before the second half, that is, because I was feeling a little wary at that point. But they uh, kept on the pressure. They got that goal, that late goal that really kind of gave them that second chance, that second life, and another really nice goal by Gomez there. Uh, a play that was just essentially created out of the fact that I kind of pulled the center back out of the position, but still, he really controlled that well. And uh, two great goals by him. He's one of my nemesis uh, to fight or play against uh, when I'm playing uh, FIFA 13. And uh, we nearly got the goal back there, which would have been really nice to have because we're so close in this game, having that great start. Still down, though. And uh, this is where, again, potentially breaks down, but Leno makes a big save, still keeping us in it. And. Uh, the game's going to have one more turn of events here as Juan Mata cuts it over to SCN. SCN takes the shot and Juan Mata completely left open there to score the goal. It's 3-1 now for Chelsea and uh, that's how this one's going to finish guys as it was a dis really a disappointing loss in all facets because of the fact that we tried hard. We really did and uh, I felt like we were going to get the win out of this one after that nice early goal by Suarez. We weren't really controlling the play fully but we were still in the game. For most of it and uh, in the end of it all you can see they had a great turnaround there Gomez a couple really fantastic goals and that got uh, Chelsea the win so as uh, we were kind of you know pushing forward in the league a little bit starting to get back into the the race there this was kind of a thorn in our side because that's uh, no points picked up and three points to someone that is very close in the standings next to us but uh, as you can see here the reason why I said we didn't have a third game or didn't uh, weren't playing Borussia Dortmund was the fact that we're actually playing Manchester United because we uh, waited so long, the replay happened, and we're moving on to the, the semi-final game here against Manchester United, and uh, actually, you know what, this is the quarterfinal game, I believe the other one was around a 16-1, uh, we'll, we'll make sure at the end of this episode though, we'll, we'll know for a fact, uh, but this was another really fun one for me, because Manchester United are that team that, you know, I feel like at least when I play against them, I can do good against them, Chelsea, they're the side that I really struggle with when it comes to the top five or top four teams, but uh, Manchester United seemed like the side that we usually do pretty good against, and that makes me happy. And we started nothing less than a very strong lineup for this one. Have Merkel and Holpi in there. Our back four is as strong as can be. Suarez and Carrillo starting on the wings and Cavani down the middle. So we went guns blazing in this one. Like I said, trying to get the win here, trying to keep going into, uh, as far as we can at least, into the uh, FA Cup. And uh, yeah, we uh, started that lineup that's really going to help us out in this one. And you can see here... We get a great start. We got a chance there. Cut in. It's a greasy goal. Cavani will score it, though. Five minutes in. We'll take it, and we go up 1-0 against Manchester United, which is always, like I said, a nice thing to have. You know, that early lead always helps out because then you feel a little bit more in control of what's actually going on in the game rather than being behind in the back seat, right? And 
they uh, start coming up with some opportunities here. They really try and get back in this one, but we uh, do a pretty good job of kind of shutting them down. There was an opportunity there that could have been dangerous. Rooney here with the break. Jordi Alba, though, really puts on his jets, puts the pressure on Rooney, and Leno makes an amazing save there to keep the game at 1-0. And uh, like I said, Jordi Alba compared to someone like Martin Kelly, and even Cresswell. Cresswell does a good job, but Jordi Alba just has that pace, and he's able to do so much more of the ball that I feel like we haven't had in our team. And uh, thank goodness the uh, board actually signed him for us because that was a really nice sign to pick up, uh, and we didn't even have to do a thing about it. And uh, moving into the second half here, we have that 1-0 lead, which is nice to... Uh, kind of sit on going into this half as we know that we are uh, going to have some trouble against this team. They're going to really put it on in the second half, but we at least have that cushion where we lost that cushion against Chelsea. We kept the cushion here. Luis Holpe with an absolute hammer of a shot there. Not able to make that one happen, but Carrillo cuts in, takes a shot, rebound to Merkel, nearly goes wide, and uh, could have been a nice goal there. Keeping in those rebounds, De Gea just kind of giving up the ball from time to time, and uh, Merkel here tries again another one. There's another save as well. Really, this was the story of the half, as we really were peppering Manchester United and trying to get that second goal to really give us the cushion here, but not able to get it up until this point. Krill, though, able to find Cavani. Lots of space. No way he's missing that one. Great goal by him. Second goal of the game and showing his worth there at, in the striking role. As uh, we have Suarez playing in there, but if we can have both of them playing, it is just that extra type of oomph for us to really uh, create opportunities. And here late on in the game, Cavani again with another opportunity, but it falls to Pacheco and, ah, just can't get it in, can't get the third goal. But that's all right, because they get one late chance here that could have been really nice, but the game is going to end 2-0 for us. Great win overall, really happy with the guys and uh, how they performed in this game. And uh, that's going to be pretty much it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed. We'll be back next episode with our game against Borussia Dortmund, the second leg game there. And uh, that should be a fun one to see how that pans out. And uh, we'll be moving on from that to a couple more Premier League games and maybe even more uh, FA Cup action in the future. But as you can see, too, we're now into the semis. So that first game was in the round of 16, my bad. Uh, but we're in. We're into the final four.